Morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's a colder start this morning because we've had some breaks in the cloud cover. Now, these numbers have fluctuated a bit, anywhere from about 10 in some spots uh, to around 20 in others. So it's going to be a chilly start, but there's very little wind, and it should be quite light through the day. Notice there's been some patchy clearing, and at times we're going to cloud back up again, then some other spots where the sun will poke out. Overall, it's not going to be a blue sky day, but we will see some partial sun. Now, all to the south, we've got this, uh, well, decent batch of freezing rain erupting in southern and central Texas, east central Texas, and high pressure has moved back down into Oklahoma. So what has happened here is that the atmosphere, at least the lower several thousand feet of the atmosphere in our region, has dried out quite a bit. Now we're going to see some decent high cloud cover today. The question is how far north this precip shield gets, and you can see it's moving primarily to the northeast, and that's going to be the main track. So, that said, I'm going to show you one of many models, and all of them barely touch northern Arkansas. Some are a little heavier near Fort Smith, and I really think the main corridor is probably going to be in this corridor from about Nashville through Little Rock through northern Texas and so on. So, it's not a zero chance, as you're about to see, but I really think that because that lower atmosphere is dried out, that the impact is going to be minimal and confined to far south southern portions of the Ozarks. Notice where the bigger pink area is down toward Little Rock. Now I still think we could see some light showers here. Yeah, some models even suggest a couple of flurries in southern Missouri, but as far as impactful winter weather, uh, the chance certainly looks lower than it did yesterday. Now that said, the chance isn't zero. So the National Weather Service has a winter weather advisory for all of our counties in Arkansas even though they've only got a 20% chance of any wintry weather in places like Harrison, for instance. The idea is that I think it's going to be our far southern counties here that have the best shot at seeing any real wintry weather. And even then, it really does look light. So that advisory goes through noon tomorrow. Temp wise today, better, not balmy, but I think we'll hit freezing or maybe just a bit above. Not as cold tonight. In fact, lows are gonna be warmer than our high temps have been the last couple of days. And tomorrow, eh, clouds are gonna hang on longer in the south, so perhaps not quite as warm as to the north, but high temps should crack the 40 mark, and it goes up from there. And well, with the exception of Friday, we'll actually come back down just a little bit. Now, I've still got that alert day Thursday. It is confined to those far southern counties in the morning. Honestly, I wanted to drop it, but because the advisory is still there, yeah, we're just going to leave it for now. 38 Friday with plenty of sun, but then the south wind kicks back in starting Sunday. Up we go. It's going to turn much warmer this weekend into next week.